Hello everyone, I'm Watanabe from Alps Alpine. Today, I'd like to explain about our digital cabin solution. Before that, let me introduction myself. Again, my name is Yoshikatsu Watanabe. I'm a little bit nervous now since this is the first time to have this kind of speech in front of a large audience. I hope to share what we are thinking through my very good English. And if you have any questions later, please ask slowly with very easy English. Uh, regarding myself, I joined Alpine in 1986 and have worked for Alpine brand product development for a long time. In 2012, I moved to China and I was responsible for R&D Center in Darien. At that time, I visited Taiwan several times and communicated with Taiwanese companies. After that, I returned to Japan. I was responsible for engineering division, and I have been working in, the, in this company. Uh, sorry. After that, I returned to Japan. I was responsible for the engineering division since 2019. I have been working in the current position as Alps Alpine Vice President. I am responsible for infotainment and sound business as well as Alpine brand business. Something interesting about me, I love playing baseball, the banchu, and golf, I wish to play in Taiwan in the near the future. At this point, let me explain starting from Alps Alpine corporate introduction. Environment change for our company and digital cabin solution. First, regarding corporate introduction. Alps Alpine was established in 1948, Kataoka Electronics. Later, it became Alps Electronics. In 2019, Alps Electronics and Alpine integrated in one company as Alps Alpine. The company is now 75 years old. And now, sales is 935 billion yen, and the number of employees are around 30,000. If you look at the business segment, more than half of sales are automotive module and system. And components are including automotive devices, so that total ratio of automotive sales is roughly 70% of the total company. Let me share more about our company history. It was founded in 1948 as a joint venture between Alps and Motorola was established. And eight-track portable player was launched in the US. The joint venture was canceled, and later it became Alpine. At that time, mainly high-end audio of radio tuner, cassette player are produced. In 1981, we developed the world's first navigation system with another automotive manufacturer. Also, around 2010, we developed the industry's first large screen aftermarket navigation system called Big X. Our activities are always challenging the new value in cabin experience. And recently, the need to integrate other systems into the cockpit has expanded. And Alps Electronics 
is also expanding products related to in cabin, such as switch modules for steering, door panels, or air conditioner. So we co developed the premium cockpit system in 2018. And finally, Alps and Alpine were integrated into one company as Alps Alpine in 2019. And nowadays, we produce a lot of HMI human machine interface devices, such as various switches, touch panels, haptic commanders, and also lots of sensors, such as magnetic sensors, current sensor, environmental sensors, and so on. And connectivity devices, such as Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, GNSS, V2X, and 5G module for automotive as well. On the other hand, we are producing various products and the system by utilizing those devices such as sound system, display, infotainment system for global automotive manufacturers. And as Alpine brand, we continue to produce those products, but also we launched Alpine style retail store in Japan. In order to do direct marketing to end consumer by providing not only in cabin products, but also total car life solution as motto. And now, the Alpine style we opened in six locations in Japan Fukuoka, Yokohama, Osaka, Nagoya, Saitama, Onohama. And we started to pro produce customized car, in including exterior and interior customization. In this year, we launched two new original car, Karika and Habana. By utilizing those devices, modules, products, and Alpine brand bridges, we challenged to create new value through digital cabin solution concept for upcoming mobility and mobility life. I will explain about digital cabin solution later in detail. Next. Let me briefly share about environmental changes for our company. We are facing significant changes in our business circumstances, the SDGs are one. Any business in the world is now requested to take part in the global fight against climate change and also required to create innovative solutions for society. COVID-19 has accelerated the diversification of life and work styles, consumer value, and the definition of happiness. Under such circumstances, we need to break through our old business model. The automotive industry has seen new activities beyond the area of expertise. For instance, carbon neutrality is no longer a concern of the auto industry alone but it should be the area of interest for all industries. The case trend will cause a change in value-added for cars and a shift from hardware to software. More and more issues will be integrated, making custom hardware disappear one by one. We need to make better use of the latest technologies to respond to all ongoing and upcoming changes. The mobility sector will keep evolving with the advancement of cloud and data transfer technologies. The metaverse and other virtual technologies will enable people to do more things 
while staying in one place, causing a paradigm shift in the way people think about moving to other places. Fewer necessities to move to other places will transform the process into something more special than it is. As a business in the mobility industry, we are expected to create new products and services that will further enrich the getting more and more special experience. By moving to other places based on those external factors. Let me finally about our direction digital cabin solution. Alps Alpine is aiming to be an innovative T shaped company. This is based on our strengths that we are developing both hardware and software, from device to system products, and from consumer electronics to automotive business. So, we can utilize element, elemental technologies of ARPS solution and software and system integration of Alpine solution to provide new value for the changing automotive industry as well as for other industries. For the automotive business direction, at present, we handle almost all automotive HMIs, including displays, audio equipments, shifters, control panels, for center console, door, and arms, armrest, and so on. Throughout 2027, we are going to integrate all the HMIs into a group of products as an internally linked cockpit. Then, toward 2030, we are going to apply the integration process to the entire cabin space, turning it into a living room on hoys. These plans will require us to evolve the existing control into a unique system by utilizing various sensors acting as an interface between cars and people. A bit more talking about concrete products. Current lineup is individual functional products mainly. We integrate towards cockpit by domain controller to handle not only conventional infotainment, but also meta and head-up display, as well as sound system, including audio signal processing, furthermore toward digital cabin. We integrate more various inputs like sensors and various outputs like actuators in order to realize a rich experience in the future mobility cabin space. System configuration is depending on the automotive manufacturers, but macro trend is of course to integrate not only IVI meta, but also body domain and ADAS domain and zonal architecture will be coming soon. Based on those architecture changes, we are adapting to provide cabin controller and necessary peripherals and middleware to realize in cabin experience. Especially various sensors and actuator with middleware, we believe are one of the unique technology from Alps Alpine. To adapt the architecture changes, we also strengthen alliance. We already announced Capital Business Alliance with Nippon Seiki, who has strengths around the meta and head-up display area. Also, for Development Business Alliance with TS Tech, who has strengths around the seat and trim area. We, we are co-developing with automotive manufacturers 
for the future cabin system. One example. Let me explain which is developed with TSEC last year. We call XR cabin POC. This is including actual sheets and steering and door trim as hardware. But the HMI interaction is realized by virtual reality so that we can experience quickly the various use cases such as ADAS warning, immersive entertainment, entertainment, relaxation space, and verify the value, and then make improvements if necessary. We believe future mobility, especially battery EV with automated driving, will require us to provide a rich experience. In the cabin, not only while driving, but also while stationary condition as a third room of the home, so we can fully utilize this POC for a new value creation. To realize the value, on the other hand, powerful processing capability is necessary. We made partnership with Qualcomm to work together to bring advanced automotive in cabin capabilities. Actually, we produce integrated ECU, we call HPRA, stands for High Performance Reference Architecture by implementing Qualcomm Snapdragon cockpit platform. Through this reference, we are now developing domain controller for EU and Japan customer. Digital cabin solution requires such integrated ECU as well as various peripherals, including sensors and various outputs such as integrated display, zone sound system, and actuator in the seat, and so on. We are continuously making alliance with other than introduced companies. In conclusion, as a summary. First, environmental change, especially social requirements like SDGs, we need to respond to solve with latest technology. Especially in automotive industry, we believe Battery EV with automated driving will impact cabin space importance. Second, our direction is to utilize Alps Alpine Strengths, which is a T-shaped company to provide digital cabin solution. Third, in order to realize this, we all need collaboration. Alps Alpine innovates value through digital cabin solution concept for changing automotive industry. To do this, collaboration is necessary. How do you think you can help improving our business? I truly wish to work together with all potential partners here in Taiwan. Thank you very much.